Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany and I'm also known as Shell Foxborough on sites like Poshmark and Etsy and um, Instagram and here on YouTube. And so I have been absent more or less for the past month so hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much but we are back with another what sold video for may 31st to june 6th so if you are new to my channel um i do like to do what's old videos i try to upload them every monday at 8 a.m eastern um so that you can just sort of start your week seeing what is selling if you are going out sourcing um or you know, you just want someone to keep you company while you pack orders, then it is a nice sort of casual thing to listen to while, you know, you're doing your work. And I primarily sell vintage, though I do sell some modern stuff. I'm not like, I live in New Hampshire, so I'm not like as aggressively in pursuit of like new or hip labels, like someone in um, California, maybe uh i do live close to boston and so i can travel there to find like nicer stuff but for the most part i do really well selling vintage and that is my specialty so if you are interested in vintage um i would appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you hit the bell notification you can get notified every time i put out a new video or go live so I just want to thank everyone for giving me some space to take May off. I got so much work done and May was a really phenomenal month for me for uh, business and for uh, my sales numbers and for how much I got listed and all of the things that I got accomplished in May. So I'm in a really nice space and um, I'm just really happy with where I ended up at the end of the month. I did end up hiring a lister to focus on all of my modern listings. So I have passed off, um, you know, I still take with the pictures and take the measurements and do the inventory, do the shipping, but I've passed off the listing portion um, to someone else to do for me. And so that really frees me up to focus a lot more on vintage and doing photo shoots and just making sure that my shop is looking great. So my huge overarching goal um, it, at the start of May was by the end of June I wanted to have 500 listings in my Etsy shop for vintage and I really honestly didn't <laughs> think that I would get there but it was just sort of like a really lofty goal to shoot for and um, right now it is June 10th I think 10th or 11th and um, I have 460 I mean yeah 465 so I'm really close and I do actually think that I will make it now I think listing a lot of hard goods really gave me a boost um, and even though things aren't selling super quickly right now uh, I think that later on it's really going to pay off as it usually does it just takes some time when you have a slow season you can work more on um, listing but then you know you have to wait for those sales to come in so uh, I'm in a really good spot with uh, where my business is at and I'm really happy with it and so thank you again for allowing me to take the time off of YouTube and uh, really focus on the reselling portion of like my business so that has been really good. I also have something of an exciting announcement or something I'm going to try. Um, I am going to do a live stream where I help you do research on vintage pieces so that you can kind of see how I go through and how I do my research and like my process. Uh, but it will be your item. So you can submit a listing to me that you, or like an item to me that you uh, would like to know more about and we'll go on a deep dive for a couple of different items. I thought that would be a uh, fun 
live stream that is also very useful and also kind of gives you an idea of what goes on behind the scenes when I do my vintage uh, copywriting service when I offer to help you uh, do research and put together a listing title description and price for you as my paid copywriting service but this will actually be um, a chance to sort of get that for free so if you are interested and you have an item that you would like to know more about maybe you're stumped on the era or you're you want to know more about the designer or you know whatever reason you have not been able to um list it yourself you can submit it and i will leave the email address down below so that you can go ahead and submit um pictures and i'll let you know if i am selecting yours for the live stream and then also what time the live stream is going to be so that you can hopefully tune in although it is not a requirement that you be present at the live stream i would absolutely appreciate it so yeah so that is what is sort of going on i am going to be taking it pretty easy this summer um i am going to be uploading videos when i can i might not be as rigorous about my schedule but uh you know summer is a time for me to spend with my kids it's one of my favorite seasons and both my kids are home i do have someone coming to watch them twice a week um but yeah the focus is really going to be on um other things aside from <laughs> youtube and reselling you will see videos for me this summer they just might not be quite as regular as maybe we have been in the past so without further ado uh without further talking we are going to jump right into the sales portion of this video which i actually filmed on uh the computers did a screen share so that you could see the listings as i compiled them and i did make a couple of changes um i decided to only show items that sold for twenty dollars or higher and so that kind of cut down on a lot of the uh, little things that are maybe not as important to talk about so let's go ahead and see what's old okay so we are just going to jump right in to what's sold um over on the different platforms and we are going to start out with etsy so i'm only doing things that sold for more than twenty dollars and um our dates are may 31st so the end of the uh, memorial day sale to june 6th and we are going um backwards so this is a june 6th sale this was a plus size dress um that i actually purchased off of etsy to resell so i think i paid about 45 dollars for this one and it sold full asking price for 145.99 um a very very pretty if it were my style I would have kept it but the I don't know it just it wasn't quite me so I went ahead and sold that one and then next up was this rayon um, like caftan oh actually this was just under $20 but um, I almost got rid of this because it had a couple of little minor flaws and I got it in like a mystery, well not a mystery, but I got it in one of my wholesale lots. Um, but I decided to style it and so it sold for $18.99 because it had flaws and then they upgraded um, the shipping to priority which is what made me think that it was more than $20. But um, they were happy, uh, you know, and they left uh, five stars with that purchase so that was good next up was my little people airplane i actually posted this on instagram because i thought that the shot came out so uh cute i don't know you know i had this like um cloud paper it was like a card mm, poster board and i decided to do a background with my camera i don't know why i love product photography so much but i do um, this one sold on June 4th, full asking price was $33.99, uh, 
Um, there are lots of others of these on Etsy, so I don't know if they just really liked my picture like I did <laughs> or what, but um, yeah, so that one was a happy sale. Next was something that sold on June 4th, full asking price of $33.99, and this was a, like a satin floral pajama set. I had this as part of my holiday collection because nothing is more holiday than lounging about in glam pajamas, but um, it did take a while to sell. Yeah, I mean, uh, seven months or so, so um, it was a size medium, and I was, I was happy to see it go at full asking price, but it did take a little longer than I expected to sell. The next sale was really, like, the peak, like, the sale is amazing. I was so happy to see this tapestry move. Um, I actually picked this up at, believe it or not, the Goodwill outlet, and I was not the first person to this bin, um, but just nobody else wanted this tapestry. I mean, it does have some staining, um, but just a stunning hand-embroidered um, Otomi tapestry. Uh, and I, I just could not believe that no one else snapped this up. You can see like the unique way that they embroider so that there's not a lot of stitching on the back, but then it just all comes through in these vibrant colors in the front. I'm just so cool, so beautifully made and huge. This puppy was like queen size bed huge. I mean, just a big tapestry. So. Um, this sold for $520, um, and headed off to New York, oh no, I'm sorry, Nashville, Tennessee, so I am so excited to see if they love it. I do take returns, so there is a possibility that, um... You know, they've already received it, but there's a possibility they're still in their return window. If that happens, I'll let you know, but if they do not return it, this will be my best flip to date. Um, and just a really great example of how everybody who resells has a different eye, and um, a lot of people did not pick this up but I knew how beautiful and special it was. There's actually a dress. Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, from Anthropology that clued me into what Otomi embroidery is. This is by, okay, Vanessa, Virginia. Um, and this is just printed on fabric, but you can kind of see the diff like the style of it. And so then I you know, learned more about what Otomi was, and I um, knew it the second that I saw it in the bin, what I was looking at, so, um, yeah. Next up, we have a Laura Ashley dress, so cute. Um, I bought this thinking that I might wear it, but it, it didn't really fit quite in with my wardrobe. I really do more of like the fit and flare style most of the time. Um, and so I decided to sell this one. I paid I think about 12 or $13 for this beauty and I listed it for $75.99 and it sold full asking price on June 2nd and it went all the way to Germany. So that was a fun find, and with all of my recent ones, I've been putting a video in. So I think that that's been helping them sell because they are honestly selling um, so quickly, all the recent listings that I've been doing. Okay, another recent listing. You can see I have video over here. This is actually a dress by Serengeti Catalog, and it is a URL, and so it is, like, right on the cusp of, like, you know, 2000s or, like, super late 90s. But, um, yeah, it's just a really pretty cotton dress, size 1X. I got this in one of my wholesale lots as well, but I really loved the movement of it. Sold for um, 
$45.99 minus $9.20 on my Memorial Day sale. So somewhere around $35. And my average cost of goods was about $4, $3 or $4 for that um, wholesale lot. This was something that I purchased on ThreadUp um, back when the pandemic started. It sold for $30. The buyer was very happy with it. Um, but I wouldn't pay what I paid again. I think I paid about 6 or $7. And I, I think that I would pick this up, but only if it were like 2 or $3. Um, you can kind of see this is like a 90s tag. I had to put so much time researching this, trying to find out more about this tag. And uh, I just, I'm glad to see that go. This one sold for, let's see, and it listed for $75.99. And they got a discount of $15.20. So it sold for about $60. This was something that I purchased from... Um, another vintage seller who is just like getting out of selling vintage and I've been um, I bought a whole lot of her stock and I've been selling it off sadly the buyer said it didn't fit in their shoulders um, I don't know why they did not return it but uh, they left feedback instead and um, yeah so 60 bucks for that one I was pretty happy with that and then this one this sold for $25, or a little more than that, $28, I think. Um, and boy, did it take a really long time. I mean, this has been listed since, I want to say last July. So I was surprised that this took a full year to sell. It's just like a little sheer um, cute polka dot mini skirt with an elastic waistband. But I... Don't know if it was because it was sheer or what, but it took forever. And so, glad to see that go to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to Thrilling. They finally introduced a dashboard where you can just kind of like see your sales recently and, um, you know, the item ID and like how much you're getting paid out, which is really nice because before you really just you had to just trust them. <laughs> so um, the first thing that I sold for this um, week, May 31st to June 6th, was on um, June 3rd. And that is these gloves right here. These were also from that vintage seller that I bought out a bunch of inventory. Just really like the cutout detail on these. And they sold for um, $28, and so I got $25.20. And then the second thing that sold was this romper. And very fun, like, geometric print romper. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at, like, a, at Goodwill, I think, for $6. And this one sold for... $43 and so I made $38.70 on that one. Isn't it nice just be able to see like exactly how much um, you got paid out? <laughs> so over on eBay, I don't know what happened, but I just had a real dry spell um, that week and um yeah, I only had one sale over $25, and that was this London Times dress. I accepted an offer of, um, or no, someone bought it uh, at 20% off with my Memorial Day sale. So they bought it for $35.99. This was a piece from my Stitch Fix palette. This person has been sending, like I've been fighting about low ball offer. Okay, and over on Poshmark, also kind of a dry spell. Things were really um, busier on Etsy than anywhere else, but um, I did sell some stuff over on Poshmark. It's just that these are the ones that were $25 or more. Um, this went to one of my lovely um, 
viewers and Instagram followers. Um, this was actually one of the most popular dresses in my Etsy shop and uh, she sent me an offer for 25 which I accepted but how cute is this dress? I just I love this dress. Um, so I'm happy that it has a good home and yes this one was a market in that spruce dress that I looks like I had listed since October of last year and so it's been listed a little bit I think I had it listed around 38 or something like that so once I made an offer for 28 and I went ahead and accepted that this was from my stitch fix palette and then another piece from my stitch fix palette this 41 Hawthorne dress um, this was a size extra extra large and yeah, not much to say about that. I think I had it priced a little bit higher, like 35 or something like that, and some maybe 40. Someone sent me an offer again for 28, and I accepted. So that is it for um, sales for May 31st to June 6th. Um, Etsy has definitely been the busiest for me. I am starting to get some sales on eBay, but honestly not as much as I expected given that I am listing three items every single day of the week um, and so that's a bit of a surprise and then Poshmark has kind of come in waves but right now it's kind of slow <laughs> so yes um, yeah so I hope you didn't miss me too much and I'll see you for my next what sold video next Monday at 8 a.m.